Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and I'm working for the company iCare. And in this video tutorial I will show you how to configure a database and how to use the CSI2140 together with the triac sensor, for example the Emerson patented triac sensor AO643TX. Now, if you work with a triac sensor, you can use it in different methods and you can also install it in different directions. In this video tutorial, we will focus on one practical case where we will install the triac sensor always in horizontal direction and in radial direction on the machines. If you're using the CSI triac sensor AO643TX, you see an image here of the triac sensor. It has an embedded magnet. The Z direction is our horizontal reading. The X direction is a vertical reading and the Y direction is a axial reading. Now, if you configure the database to work with the triac sensor, you have to pay attention to two special things. All the measurement points that are in the same measurement plane have to receive the same group number. The channel number will specify the direction of measurement. Group number 1 till 19 is reserved for track sensors and the channel numbers will specify the direction. In this example 1 is horizontal, 2 is vertical and 3 is tracks. So, let's take a closer look to a live example. If we want to measure this machine using a triac sensor and we install the triac sensor always in horizontal direction, we have to install it on four locations. The first location will be here motor outboard, the second is here motor inboard, fan inboard and fan outboard. So we will install in total four times the track sensor on a location and every location is always in horizontal direction and in radial direction. So what should we do in a database to make sure that it's measured this way? If you go in the software to database setup management you can go to a screen called group channel number summary and if you have built a machine with a database wizard you will see automatically something similar like this. That means the horizontal and the peak view measurements, they are in the same group, so they will be measured simultaneously. Outboard, motor outboard, motor inboard, fan inboard and fan outboard. And he will use always a channel number one, the horizontal radial measurement. If we want to work with a triac sensor, we have to change this configuration. And how to change this? All the measurement points that are laying in the same plane has to receive the same group number. For example, motor outboard everything has group number 1. Motor inboard group number 2, fan inboard group number 3 and fan outboard group number 4. If there are more than 4 bearing locations in your machine, for every bearing location you simply continue with the next available number. When you start again in the next machine, you can restart with group number 1. And inside every group, 1 is horizontal, peak view is horizontal, vertical is 2 and axial is 3. Now I will show you live how to change it in the software. After that I will show you how to do it at a global database level. And as last, we will also show you the outcome on the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. So now let's go to the software. So in the software, I go to Tools, Database Setup, Tree Structure. I select the machine, Edit modify group channel and here you see how the RBM wizard has configured it. 
Now we change this to motor outboard everywhere plane 1, group number 1, motor inboard 2, mo fan inboard 3, and fan outboard 4. Horizontal and peak view always 1, vertical 2, and axial 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Now this machine is done. However, if you have a huge database, it can be a job to do that change for all the machines. There is a faster way to do it. If you go to Database Utility, Modify Measurement Points, on the left side you can specify a filter and on the right side you can specify an action. First of all, make sure that the first two icons are activated and now I'm going to give you an example. As filter I'm going to use measurement point identifier is equal to motor 1 horizontal. I want to change that the single group number and the single channel number. So the single group number has to become 1 and the single channel number has to become 1 as well. Here at the top you can specify what part of the database you want to modify for this. So I want the two areas and I drop the hammer and all the measurement points called motor 1 horizontal are now already changed. I do the same for the peak view and also the change is done for the complete database. I continue with vertical then it has to be 2 here then I continue with axial that has to be 3 and I will give you one more example when I'm at motor 2 horizontal it has to be 2 and 1 here So, in fact, for every different measurement point identifier that you have in the database, you have to execute this action once. Special note, this setup is valid if the triac sensor is mounted horizontally with a sensor feed direction perpendicular to the machine shaft. However, if the sensor feed direction is parallel with the shaft, then channel 2 and 3 need to be swapped. The configuration is updated, so now we can take a look on the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer, how it looks now on the analyzer and how the measurements look. So what you're seeing now in front of you is the home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. I go to root and I am automatically in the first measurement point of the route, motor fan 1, motor 1 horizontal. You recognize here immediately the group and the channel information and I will now start the machine. I install the sensor at motor outboard horizontal and I start data collection. and the four measurements are done simultaneously and immediately he is jumping to the next plane so I install now the sensor at motor inboard and I start data acquisition so also here the four measurements are collected now I install the sensor at fan inboard horizontal I start data acquisition And last, I install the sensor in fan outboard and I start data acquisition. And the complete machine, 16 measurements are done. 
that is all time you need to measure a 3000 RPM machine with four bearings. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information about iCare and our products, please visit our website or drop an email to one of the following emails. Thank you, have a nice day.